It's June 24th, 2016, half past 5 a.m. Do you remember where you were, what you were doing? I was boarding a plane at Brussels Charleroi Airport, wearing funny pink tank tops, a friend of mine wearing a veil. We were about to fly to Alicante for her bachelorette party. It's a Slovak friend of mine who was about to get married to her Austrian fiance in the Italian Bologna. We were looking forward to having our churros and hot chocolate under the Spanish sun for breakfast and just celebrating our European careers, friendships, families, opportunities. Suddenly a Hungarian friend of ours starts sobbing I see people starting to act weird on the plane. And I notice the notifications kicking in on the phone. It's the results of the Brexit referendum. We knew it was an end of an era and it was the beginning of lots of changes, obviously for all of us. For me, it happened, what happened was that I became part of the Brexit negotiating team, spending years in day-to-day -day conversations with the families and businesses, not knowing how much damage will happen to their kids' rights, to the businesses that they were building for decades, dependent on, obviously, the European Union's freedoms. I took a decision, I never want to be part of a negotiating team for Slovakia's exit from the EU, which is what plenty of politicians here are daringly putting on the agenda. For Europe, what happened on the Brexit morning was a birth of a new possibility. Bold Europa was born. The first and only pan-European movement built on a premise that the paradigm of nationally focused political parties is over. They cannot deliver the results that we need in the current interconnected world with the environmental, digital, human rights, security related challenges. We need a new approach based on cross-border dialogue, understanding, cooperation, which is the very principle on which VALT is built as a cross-border pan-European movement with a shared vision for reform and strengthening of the European Union. Fast track forward, six years later, it's an honor for me to invite you to support VALT. I'm proud that VALT is now established in Slovakia as a Slovak chapter of this pan-European movement. And we are running in the 2024 European elections as the first ever party that is based on cross-border cooperation on making sure that Slovakia is heard by a larger number of politicians, that Slovaks are represented not just by the 15 members of the European Parliament that we're going to have, but by dozens and dozens of politicians from other member states, all of whom are listening from day one what it's like to be a country in Central Europe with the demography and challenges and yeah, just the problems that we are dealing with and how the other politicians from other countries can be agents of change so that together we advance Europe into the future that we need it to have in order to continue living a life that's prosperous, inclusive, sustainable, humane. My name is Lucia Kloštincova. I'm an ex-European Commission official. I'm a European policy expert, career coach, mom, and also co-president and lead candidate for the European elections of Welt Slovakia. It's an honor for me to invite you into conversation and cooperation with us. We'd be happy if ever you felt like you don't quite belong into the paradigm that you were conditioned to be part of because it felt limiting and just failing from the perspective of the societal objectives that you want to see birthing around you, then please join. Let me know, let's chat. We are always on the lookout for experts, members, supporters, and obviously I'd be honored to receive your votes. If you're not Slovak and you can't vote here, please consider supporting VOLT in another member state. We are now in over 30 countries, EU and non-EU included with over 140 elected officials, um, yeah, at all levels of governance. So please go and check it out. I'm excited that this is the paradigm that is now coming to Europe as something 
that we all require in order to create the future that we need for our families and businesses and the nationally thinking politicians thriving on fear and limiting beliefs is not what's going to get us there. So thank you for listening and please let's continue staying in touch. Bye.